Reuben Abati. Now only God who is there ever go bless you for this particular thing. When you tell Bob Risky for inside this video, if you come across this video, I beg. Talk very dark now for this video. Make una make sure say una share this video. Give very dark man because this video go help very dark man. Make una just hear what thing arise news journalist Ruben Abati and no they tell Bob Risky for this trending video. This trending video will be like say earlier just send give me some few minutes ago and make una spread the video. Make other Nigerians still hear what at the end and I'll up. Is it that the uh, Nigerian Correctional Service? Do you people run, uh, uh, what do they call it? Airbnb. Airbnb yes. uh, do you people run Airbnb for inmates? Because I, I, I recall that once upon a time in this country, one man was uh, imprisoned in this same uh, Kirikiri, and uh, uh, within nine months, his wife was uh, pregnant, and there was naming ceremony and speculations that he was even allowed to go and uh, attend the naming ceremony as he. Bona fide father of the child. So are you people now running Airbnb as part of an extension of the prison? Well, uh, thank you very much, Doctor. And uh, uh, thanks for having me. I want to also appreciate the Reverend gentleman for his uh, input. Uh, to answer your question straight, uh, there is nothing like apartment, separate apartment, private apartment, or anything special in the prison. Um, the Honorable Minister, what he has done, has just demonstrated that he is someone that is uh, courageous, he is methodical in his approach, and he is a system person. Uh, to that extent, I want to commend his effort because this is how systems are built all over the world, by galvanizing the support and participation of the public in running a credible system. Having said that, uh, let us not forget that the allegation or whatever is uh, uh, being pushed out to the public is still in the realm of speculation, of allegation. I don't want us to preempt what the uh, panel will come up with. To drive the seriousness of the Honorable Minister, he appointed a permanent secretary in the ministry to chair that investigation panel. And I want to believe that if there is any merit in it, of course, he will take appropriate action according to the law. Now, to stress the classification procedure that the Reverend Gentleman talked about, we have that as our operational procedure. As an inmate is coming into the facility, the first thing you do is to provide that individual for the safety of the person coming in and the, uh, the, the general prison environment. You want to know his background, his or her background, how you can facilitate smooth and humane custody, and if he's a convict, how do you extend rehabilitation and reformation program to cover the period the person is going to spend behind bars, so that by the time he's coming out of the custodial center, he's a better off human being. To come to the case of Mr. Okuneye Idris, yes, I don't want, I, I'm a little careful not to be preemptive of what the investigation panel will come up with. Um, like the Reverend gentleman said, you came in bodily showing you are a woman. Yes, you confessed in the court that you are a man. Everybody knows that you keep people, men, behind bars for years. Uh, some of them are unrepentant homosexuals. Some of them, even those that are not homosexuals, they, they, they just want to relieve themselves by any means, and you are coming, you're, uh, coming into their midst in that uh, body formation. There is no doubt that if care is not taken, uh, what you know, you have a very serious security situation in your, uh, on your hands. So I don't want to uh, proceed uh, more on that because right. it's still being investigated. Okay, all right. Thank you so much, Mr. Nobore. Um, I'd like to ask you: This is not the first time the Nigerian Correctional Service has come on the spotlight for allegations of corruption. Recall that uh, Fisayo Shoyombo, an investigative journalist, had done an expose 
where he himself had found a way into uh, the correctional service and he exposed some of the, un, you know, what, what's, what's going on in there. Nothing was done in terms of, I don't know whether an investigation was instituted and any reforms made. What is the situation of things currently? And to what extent are you confident that, you know, these, well, it might even be a cartel where people make money to put people in special cells and special prisons exist? What is the prison service or the correctional service doing about this? So if you're saying this is still an allegation, at least we have a full-on investigation where we didn't hear a lot from. Is there an enabling environment for this to thrive in the Nigerian Correctional Service? And for Bishop Kayede Williams, I hear you in saying that, okay, they couldn't categorize him, so they put him in a special arrangement, protective custody. Would any other Nigerian in his situation receive the same treatment without collecting money? Or does this involve paying a certain amount as you would do in a hotel? I'll speak to Mr. Enoboro first and then Bishop Williams next. Okay, uh, thank you very much. You see, on the issue of uh, uh, Okone Idris, I, I, just, I said I want to be careful so that I don't preempt the outcome of the investigation panel. Uh, having said that, I, I, I recall that I mentioned that when you profile an inmate that is coming into your facility, it is for multiple reasons. Number one is to protect the inmate. Number two, to protect the environment he is coming into. Number three, to make way for appropriate deployment of reformation and rehabilitation program. If you are protecting someone, because if, for instance, he's exposed to such a hazardous environment and is violated and the security issue comes up, you are, you are, you are going to be on the spotlight. I so I don't want to uh, subscribe to that insinuation. No, that... Mr. Enobore, I, I, I didn't talk about yes. uh, Mr. Idris Okuneye. I, I referred to Fisaya Shoyombo's expose. His yes, I'm coming to that. Yes, I'm that's, to I'd that. like you to I, speak I, I, to I that. I understand. Yes, please. Yes, the, uh, I, I was just going to address that. You see, it is not true that whatever investigation uh, 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 procedure that is established to unravel uh, any allegation is uh, treated with levity. There are a lot of programs and uh, you know, uh, uh, administrative procedures that are being taken to address whatever anybody brings up, either as an observation or whether you carry out an uh, investigation procedure. If the, the system itself has internal mechanism for detecting this uh, 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 out of character behavior, and of course, if you have been following, you, you recall when I was in service, a lot of officers are either dismissed or reduced in rank for various reasons uh, uh, that the, the service considered out of character. All right, very so quickly. It's not, very you quickly, may not come up from, to say every day. For, very quickly, from yes. that investigation, was there anything that happened? Yeah. From that particular, was there anything that happened? You see, because when it, he, he was, it was very detailed, he even went in, showed a few clips. When you make happened? an allegation, yes, when you make an allegation, you subject it to investigation. It is only when it is established to be true that you take action. You don't need to, for instance, I followed that uh, Mr. Schoenberg's, uh, um, uh, what do I call it? He said uh, uh, investigation that he went into the correctional service uh, center in Ekoyi. He saw where people were buying drugs. Uh, they even promised that they were going to erase his name from the prisoner's record if he paid some amount of money. And the question I asked then was, why did he not follow through to actually pay the money and see if it would be possible for his name to be erased from the record of prisoners? All then right. I now also added that the, correct, the, the, the record of prison does not start and end in Ikoi. It's, you have a copy with the uh, controller of Lagos State. You have a copy with the zona coordinator, Zone A. You have a copy with the uh, directorate of operations. You have a copy with the controller general. And you have a copy in our uh, information desk. Uh, uh, where, where will the person penetrate to erase the record of a prisoner from all these uh, 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 platforms? And I also stated then, 
that it may it, 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 the um, uh, Suryabo may have just been scammed. All right. It means they may have just right. told him Nobody, a bundle of lies William. that he should pay. They will do. The, All right. So. Let me come because it's interesting because how he co a, someone who wasn't convicted found his way into prison is the same conundrum mm -hmm. as to how he would have been able to do that. But let me come to Bishop Williams um, about about that. So, do people get special treatment? Do they pay this special protective service? Do they pay for it, or is it? And would this be given to it? Because we've seen the state of the correctional service. So, is there a different set of law for a different no. set of people in Nigeria? Yeah, the, the he you are talking about is trying to the, the shim, <laughs> shim or whatever we the call shim. it. <laughs> so, you, 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 in prison, there is single cell. Prison would name the prison. Single cells where an offender that commit another offense in the prison, because the prison itself is another kingdom. They have their own setup. So we have single cells. Inmates that are of that nature, that's not the first person. We have a flow from Beni in those days that is an homosexual. He was kept in the single cell. The single cell is not general cell. This is separate pre prison. Within the prison, Baba Obasanjo was not kept with general prisoners. Most of the governors, what are we trying to dodge out of this? Prison is not a court uh, center now. Why can't we open up all the whole thing there? There is nothing. And when they are going to put them there, they are putting them for their own protective custody. No, Bishop. Maybe you didn't get the point where we're trying to establish. Okay. Idris Okunaya was kept out of the correctional center. How is it possible? No, so, that is what is being alleged. No, I'm I know it's an allegation. So have you ever heard an experience of that ever happening it has, before? I know it's possible they can take an, an, an image to hospital, come back, but to say they were a convicted image, I spent 10 years in the prison. Okay, so what time did you spend? What, what, what year? Between what year to what year? 1971. 1971. 1971 to what year did you spend in the prison? 71. No, what year were you in prison? What was the 71 now, the uh, Dr. Ishola matter. I know. <laughs> no, no, I know. I, I, I know what I'm trying to say. You are talking so of you, you, when I was in prison. Uh, Immediately uh, I came uh, out Bishop, of... Bishop, I actually died here. Mm. Mm. I think prison, for, no, I'm I sorry. I want to enlighten you. you. Go, Bishop, in, if you spent 10 years, you probably left in the 80s. The prisons were still good. I left in 1982. You left in 1982. Nigeria was still good there. Today, it's young peppers, kata, I kata. never removed my hand because of my experience in the prison. I started an organization I and did. I visit prison on daily basis. Okay, Bishop, and that is why I'm giving you Bishop, this. Bishop, thank you for this. But yes. well, you might not have an understanding of what's going on in the prison. I will come back to him. When we say some things, you'll be shocked. Sir, as a spokesperson, former spokesperson of the prisons, I know investigation is currently on as regards that 15 million. But have there been instances of these arrangements where people are gotten flat and controller general of some sort give you a safe landing where they will do all the things they need to do for you in prison that you are present when you're in another apartment? And I have the reason why I asked it, because there have been allegations. This allegation is on ground that is currently investigated. Secondly, you were talking about uh, various segmentations of treatment. Is it everybody that is giving this treatment? Because if my memory serves me right, the likes of Sheo Kuti, that is also a known person in society, was still made to go through the whole rigor when he was being kept in detention. So is it that... <laughs> There are some special breeds of public figure over the other. Because if my memory serves right, Sean Kutitu is a public figure, but he was put in detention till his matter was sorted out. Those are just the two questions I'd like to ask you. Have you heard of any scenario Thank like you. that where they take somebody out of the confines of the prison custody? Thank you very much. Uh, I have never heard of any such arrangement to collect money from an inmate and keep him or her out of the prison 
to is a place that is not designated by the trial court. I have never heard of it. Thank you for watching that video. So guys, before you leave, look at the top here. You will see where the road subscribe. Just subscribe to this great platform and also put on Sean Bear so that whenever we upload any video in this great platform, you will be the first to see it. And don't forget to share this video to all social media platforms on Facebook, WhatsApp, and Instagram, and also on YouTube so that everyone out there will see this video. So guys, see you guys some other time.